So check it out. There's an elephant in the room. In my past few videos, I've been seeing this comment one too many times. I steal designs. And you know what? It's true. And let me tell you exactly how I do it. So in some of the previous videos, it is titled how to become a better designer. And with the end of the video itself, we are showcasing how to take one design and replicate it. But the whole idea of this is not to plagiarize. The whole idea of it is to practice so you can learn how to actually use these tools. This is literally based off of this book right here, Still Like an Artist. And just to sum up this book right here, I even gave out a speech on this when it came to the homie Stan Banks' Made to Hustle event. He had me talk about design, he had me talk about selling t-shirts, but in the design section, one thing that we spoke about was Kobe Bryant. It's a known fact that Kobe idolized Michael Jordan, played as much as like Michael Jordan as possible, and got even some of his moves from there. But over time, he practiced these moves and they became his own. He took the fundamentals of his game and turned it into his own game. He became Kobe Bryant by trying to play like Michael Jordan. It's the same thing in the design world. You have to understand how to create designs, but how can you learn how to create something from scratch? You can be a true creative, but at the same time, whenever you create things from the inside of your own head, not the whole world's gonna love it because that's something that you love. And that's a real big mistake when it comes to selling online. We all try to create some type of design that we actually like ourselves. But instead, we need to create things that the actual audience likes. So that's why it's important to take a design and try to emulate it and understand which part of the design foundation that the actual audience likes about it. So that's why you have to continue to practice, practice, practice and draw inspiration from things. It's hard to be really creative when you're stuck in a dark black room with nothing on the walls and no type of inspiration to draw from. And that's why in the most creative rooms, there's literally things everywhere, whether it's pieces of art or books or the, the movies are on. You have to find a way to base your ideas to make it come to life. You can't just sit here and create from the inside of your head. Now, if you wanna tell me you're a person who's a true identity to your own and you don't idolize any type of person, you have not looked into any type of person, don't listen to any type of music in particular, don't like a particular brand, don't eat any type of food, then that will probably mean you are your true creative self. But everyone is a piece of someone. And this same exact thing applies in the design world. All of the design elements you've designed till this day has been inspired from somewhere. One thing I really liked inside of this book, Still Like an Artist, is this little technique, right? So your favorite designers, your favorite pieces of art, you know, they deserve to have sequels, right? You enjoy all these pieces of art, but you can't find more. Now, when it comes to you being inspired by these artists, try to do them proud instead of the complete opposite, right? So what you wanna do is attempt to create a sequel to the actual pieces of art. Draw inspiration from multiple different types of artists and create a sequel piece of design that will coordinate with all of these artists and in the end will truly become one of your own pieces of art. And this practically pertains to more than just the design space itself. I mean, think about like music artists. There's literally no music artists today that does not draw inspiration from a different artist of the past. Every music artist nowadays has a piece of someone else inside of them and that's what makes them unique. Let's hop into the computer so I can show you guys an example of what I mean by still like an artist. Hold up, let's take a quick second to give a thanks to our sponsor, Skillshare. When it comes to Skillshare, you can attack lots of different goals. In this video alone, we're talking about how to become a better designer. And this is one goal that you can have in mind whenever it comes to using something like Skillshare. There's hundreds of videos on how to become an actual designer and we can make it even more specific with in our actual niche. Here's a best-selling t-shirt design masterclass with Adobe Photoshop. And over 75,000 students have already taken this class. This is by Masuk Batista. And there's lots of different chapters on actually creating a best-selling t-shirt design. So if you want to learn how to take your design and t-shirt career to a whole nother level, Skillshare has lots of learning opportunities for you. No goal is too small when you're ready to learn, especially on a platform like Skillshare. So I have something special for you guys. The first 1000 people to use the link down below will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. All right, here's one of the design videos that I did with the homie Nick. We're talking about how to become a better designer. We literally took a t-shirt design from paxon.com and it was an adidas 
t-shirt and before even explaining the concept of understanding how to learn to create a design by actually stealing a design of course we got all of these negative comments inspired equals stolen what a loser this design is stolen let me get it straight your tips for becoming a better designer is just to rip off existing designs of course there's hundreds of negative comments but at the same time there's lots of positives too so let's try to keep it positive and explain this entire process so I know Nick and I we discussed this several times this is actually how we learn how to use Photoshop and Illustrator by copying not to plagiarize but to practice because the more you try to create things right even there's a few times in this video we forget how to do things for example there's hundreds of different ways to do things in Illustrator right here we needed to put the text on a oval path because that's how it looked on the Adidas t-shirt now it challenges you to learn how to make that design that text on a curve like that and then at first I was like you know what you could just use the warp tool and it's gonna warp into a curve and then Nick was like no we can use the oval tool and it's gonna make it go round there's more than one ways to do things and this is where it challenges you to practice to become a better designer right the whole idea isn't to come to the end conclusion of oh look we got this t-shirt design and we got it from here we learned during this process about placement where this EST 2010 is we learned what a reef a laurel was right we didn't know what this thing was called but we learned something new we learned how to arch the text so in the future when it comes time to create your own design now you know how to create a curved text and that might sound so simple because this is a simple design but once you start to challenge yourself by copying more intricate and creative and crazier designs then you will start to learn crazier techniques and it was the same process in this video how to become a better designer I showed you guys how to create the text how to make it look like the original t-shirt but instead of using the butterfly elements we're going to add different elements we're going to use a different font we're going to use different colors but from this alone we understood placements of how and where elements would go across the actual text we understood which colors go well together which colors complement each other it's not about stealing a design to sell the exact design it's actually about stealing the design to become an actual artist if this video helped you out feel free to hit the subscribe button because i see majority of you guys who watch these videos like 70 percent of you are are not subscribed so hit the subscribe button and if you want to take a, a level beyond feel free to click the join button that buys me a cup of coffee per month so that i can keep on making these videos peace and blessings see y'all next time